Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I am back with my final scrapbook layout using the Close to My Heart Spruced Up collection. And I'm gonna go ahead here and jump right in. I'll give you the measurements for what I'm using from the pattern papers. So for the background, I'm using two pieces of the mink cardstock. And then I have got that green pattern paper, which is trimmed to 11 and 3 quarters by a half an inch. From the blue zip strip, I only had one of those left, so I just trimmed that in half, and each one measures 12 by a quarter of an inch. I then got the bird pattern paper trimmed to 11 and 3 quarters by 5 inches, and the second piece is 11 and 3 quarters by 2 inches. From the espresso cardstock, I've got one piece trimmed to 3 and a quarter by 4 and a quarter, one piece trimmed to 5 and a quarter by 7 and a quarter and one piece trimmed to four and a quarter by four and a quarter. Finally, for the striped pattern paper, that is trimmed to one piece, they're all trimmed to one inch wide, and then one piece is six and a half inches long, the second is two and a half, and the third is three and a half. So as you can see, I'm jumping in here and getting started with putting everything together. Now I am recreating one of the samples that was shown in the January, February catalog. I, however, did not pick up the scrapbooking stamp set. I chose between the card making and the scrapbooking and since I do more cards, I decided to go with that one. Again, I'm trying to watch my spending uh, this year because I went a little bit crazy in December. Uh, so choosing between the two, that's the one that I went with. Now, that being said, there were a lot of elements included in that stamp set that they used to create this layout. I am gonna give you a still shot look of that in just a moment here. However, I have pulled in what I have from the pattern papers and the wood cuts and the chipboard and did my best to recreate this. So you'll see that it's a very similar look, but it is not exactly what was shown in the um, kit. Also, because I had two packs of the paper and the stickers, I was able to use that purple sticker across the top of both of my pages to keep that layout similar. You could swap that out with any stripe of, it's about a half inch wide. You could swap that out with any stripe of the pattern paper that you wanted, but I do just wanna let you know that unless you have two packs of the stickers, you won't be able to recreate this with that specific purple sticker across the top. You can always use the purple pattern paper instead. Other than that, the only extras I'm pulling in are some of the julep gems to give a little bit of accent to some of the snowflakes. And then I'm also using some ranger texture paste to create my snow drifts. At this point, I will go ahead and turn up the music and let you enjoy the rest of the process. I will, of course, have all the measurements listed for you on my blog post so you can easily refer back to those if you'd like to recreate this. And if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below. I will do my best to answer them for you. I hope that you all have a great rest of the night and I will talk to you again soon.